All right, so the first thing you want to do is turn on your controller or plug it in if you have a, a wired one and, and then open uh, the emulator itself. Send you right here. Then you want to go to options. No, 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 no. Yes, options. I lied. Options, input settings. Then you click input settings. And when you first click it, this is going to come up. And you want to click whatever controller that, you know, is required for the game that you're playing. Um, a lot of them do use the Pro Controller. Right now, we're just going to leave it on GamePad because that works for this game. So, it's going to start off like this as the keyboard. Of course, you can set the keyboard buttons, but who the fuck wants to play a game with a keyboard, right? Not me. So, you, after you turn on the controller, this should show up right here. And it says, controller, blah, 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 tell you which one you got. I'm sure you can use the Pro Controllers too, but you got to have a Bluetooth dongle. And it this probably requires a whole bunch of other extra shit. But anyway when you look down at this list you see they have the list of buttons right there okay so you click inside the box for the button you want to press and then you just assign it to a button and then when you press that button it goes away now see me for example I also have a Wii U so I play with the Pro Controller when I play Smash Brothers I play with the Pro Controller and I don't know if you can see this or not because I can't see my camera but the A button is off to the right and the B button is at the bottom. Same thing with X and Y, they're swapped compared to the Xbox controller. So the way I set my buttons up, this is A, this is B, this is X, and this is Y. And it's pretty much self-explanatory from there. Um, L and R you want to set as L is the left trigger, R is the right trigger, and then ZL of course, the left bumper, and then it's C or ZL the left bumper ZR right bumper and then plus and minus um, starting back um, L click is like the L3 like the press in that's what that is same thing with R click this is the d-pad over here to the right the mic you'll probably have to set to like a keyboard button or something maybe you can use the the middle Xbox button maybe I'm not sure um, uh, the dead zone start off at 33% I believe that everything else I believe and then you just you just click save you could turn off rumble of course click save and then let's see let's test it in the game oh, let's see let's see if it works I'm not gonna full screen it because then it won't show up for me or it, it won't record in full screen for whatever reason see and as you can see let me turn this down as you can see it moves so it works um for the most part it works I haven't I only played this game so far so who knows it might not work with every game or you know some games might be chankier than others depending on what you use so you'll just have to test it out and play with it but that's pretty much it um yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here man and play some shovel knight Deuces. Stupid.